Hello guys, I'm Ellis and welcome back to another Football Manager tutorial. A manager's tactic is their way of expressing how they want their team to play and it is of course one of the key areas in football management. What works well for one set of players might work horribly for another and setting out how you want your team to play is an incredibly important step at the start of every season. But where do you start when you're new to all of this? Thankfully FM21 comes with tactical presets. These give you the building blocks to get started in the world of management. These offer 10 different managerial styles, all sourced from the real footballing world. Click on one of the styles and you'll notice a 2D animation giving you a visual representation of what the style looks like on the pitch, as well as a description of the style itself. So, let's take a closer look at some of these, and remember, there's positives and negatives to every style. The Gagan Press is a style popular in the real world, really coming to the fore in the last decade or so. It's an aggressive tactic that focuses on your team's ability to hunt the ball down and win it back as fast as possible. But, due to the style's aggressive pressing nature, it can take a toll on your players due to the fact that they'll be covering more ground and running harder than any of the other styles. If you were playing with a Gagan Press and you had me in your team, you'd be doomed. I've got zero fitness, lack of determination, and worst of all, lazy. <laughs> the direct counter-attack asks your players to sit deep behind the ball before then pouncing forward when an opportunity arises to attack the opposition. But the downside for this one is a lack of possession and therefore potentially a lack of control in the game. Another example is the good old park the bus. A beautifully named tactic, I must say, but you'll ask your players to sit back in a deep, low block with their main objective to be not to concede. Obviously the downside being you can't get your bus moving forward to the other end to score some goals. If you're stuck wondering which tactical style to use, have no fear. You see the handy little thumb icon, that's your assistant telling you which tactical style suits your players best. This suggestion is based on your club's style in real life, so it should be the easiest for your squad to adapt to. A tactic also needs a formation, so once you select a style, you'll see you're presented with three formations to choose from. And of course, the formation you selected suits the tactical style you've chosen too, even giving you a helping hand in adjusting the player roles to fit that style. You can choose one of the recommended formations provided to you, or you can look to one of the many other options. Or simply create your own formation. You can do this by dragging the player roles around on the tactics pitch. All tactics are split into two parts, mentality and instructions. Mentality is the team's core attacking intent, from very defensive to very attacking. This communicates to your team how much risk to take when committing men forward. Then we come on to your team instructions. These are specific commands issued to your team across every single area of the pitch. And these are broken down into in possession, in transition and out of possession. To reiterate, the tactical style you choose will automatically set both your team mentality and instructions. From here, you can make tweaks and experiments from game to game. In possession instructions relates to what your team does when it has the ball. In transition instructions relates to what your team do when they lose the ball and in turn what they do when they get it back. Are they calming the play down, being nice and calm, regrouping, or are they going, get it forward lads, quick! Lastly, your out of possession instructions allows you to set your defensive line as well as how aggressively you press, mark and tackle when trying to recover the ball. Every single area of the pitch has instructions that you're able to tweak and it's in balancing these with your mentality where you'll get the best results on the pitch. And remember, the tactical presets are always there to help. And that's it for today's episode. You've got your tactical style set up and you're ready to sit in the dugout to watch it all unfold. I've been Ellis. I'll catch you in the next one. But in the meantime, be sure to follow Football Manager on Twitter and tweet us any updates of your saves, as well as any questions or any general queries about Football Manager. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.